boxing doctor in the house. Great performance by Shakur Stevenson. Completely dominated Robinson Consincio after he was stripped off his belts for missing weight. Uh, the American superstar was due to defend his belts against Consencio, but he weighed in at 131.6 pounds, while the Brazilian challenger was inside the 130 pounds limit at 126.6 pounds. Stevenson dominated for a anonymous decision win, 118 to 108, 117 to 109, 117 to 109. He completely dominated Robinson. Great performance. Shakur Stevenson dominated and the fans were very happy at, at his hometown in um, New York, New Jersey on Friday night. Even though he was stripped of his WBC and WBO super featherweight belts before the fight for missing weight, uh, it, it didn't affect him in his performance. Uh, I spoke to uh, Coach Dirt, uh, the trainer of Shakur Stevenson, uh, as he has mentioned to me that you know he is gradually getting bigger and stronger, and his performance are gonna get better in every fight, and uh, it just naturally makes sense that Shakur Stevenson is gonna move up weight class. And I believe, uh, you know, uh, as 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 it progresses, uh, time progresses, he is going to become uh, um, a very important, uh, you know, um, a fighter in the division. Even though he, right now he is an important fighter, but I believe uh, he's going to be one of the top fighters in the division. Uh, let's get uh, let's hear what he has to say after the fight. you got in here to a record crowd of 10,107 fans who came to see Newark's own Shakur. I just want to start off by saying I want to thank God for putting me in this position and without him none, none of this would be possible but um, I had a long week. I had a long week. Um, I, I killed myself to make weight. Uh, I, I, all I wanted to do was come in here and perform and uh, I did everything I could to do, to do that. How were you able to set that aside? Because I know you're big on social media. Did you even check? Did you even care what was on there? Because I know you get motivated, and, but it also can be a detractor for a young person like yourself. Now I'm locked in. Tell everybody to stay over there where they at. If they, if they want to go to a different side, um, hate me for growing or, or gaining weight, that's on them. But if anybody got a problem with me, tell them to stay where they at. I'm going to keep going up. You are going to keep going up. You just sent a message to the guys at 135 pounds. What was that? Oh, I'm just a dominant individual. Oh, even with me versus him and the ref, I did everything I could to try to beat him up as much as I can. Oh, he held me the whole night, but I did everything I could. Why was it so hard to get him out of there? It seemed like you had an opportunity. You told us in the fighter meeting, after six, I think I can go get him, but he withstood your onslaught. Uh, I think that he was doing a lot of holding whenever I got to the inside. As soon as I get on the inside, he'll grab me. And um, I think that was part of the reason, but other than that, he real awkward and he real tough, so he know how to survive. Now talk to me about what this crowd gave you this evening. Uh, they gave me an uh, enormous amount of energy. I love North and I appreciate North for coming out here and supporting me. I love y'all so much. Without y'all, I will be who I am, and I'm going to keep working hard for y'all every day. What do you think about Conce Sal taking this fight? He could have walked away from here, taken his money, and not stepped into the ring. Respect to him, but I mean, everybody want that kind of paycheck, so I feel like the paycheck was part of the reason. They can say whatever they want, but I respect them for taking the fight still, but the paycheck was part of the reason. Your style tonight, you were combative, you were in there, in the pocket. What were you trying to show? I was trying to fight. I wanted to fight. Um, I wanted to stand there and beat him up, and he kept grabbing, holding. He didn't really want to fight. I wanted to fight. 135 pounds. You're in there now. Names like Haney, names like Cambosis, Loma, Tank. What do those guys mean to you? Shout out to all my Puerto Rican fans. I love y'all too. I appreciate y'all for supporting me and taking me in like I'm one of y'all child too. But um, other than that, everybody at 135 got to get it. Who do you want next? Anybody. 
you were a champ. You came. You stepped on that scale, a champion. You stepped off that scale, no longer a champion. So there's only one champ right now. Who do you want, and when do you want? We gotta fight the champ. Set it up, me and Devin. We can lock in. Um, after he fight Camp uh, let's let's get it on. He's got Loma probably after that. Is that a fight that interests you? If he's able to get past that, I'll fight Lomachenko too. <laughs> All right. And just finally, this week was difficult. What did you learn about yourself? That I'm tough. Even through my hard times, I still find a way to push through. Um, with everything going on, I pushed through the whole time, and I kept it going. So um, I learned that I'm real tough.